everyone, I'm here with Tanner and today we're going to do a strategy to practice sight word knowledge. And so once students have been taught a new sight word, they really need to practice and reinforce it a lot to be able to get it to stick in their memory as a reader and also be able to apply it as a writer. So one of my favorite strategies is read, write, make. And this um, handout came from um, Fountas and Pinnell's phonics system, but you don't need this in order to do the strategy. You could take a piece of paper and just divide it into three columns um, pretty easily. I do use these dry erase pockets um, for two reasons. Number one, it seems to be more engaging for students when they could use dry erase markers and so Tanner really likes it. And then I can stick it on top of my cookie sheet so that the magnetic letters can stick with the make section. So today we're going to watch Tanner um, with four words that we've chosen from just his high frequency word cards. Um, we have read these in books before so that way it's not something brand new to him. He does know the words. He's going to read the word on the card, make the word with magnetic letters, and then write the word um, on the dry erase pocket. So what word do you want to start with? Let's start with go. Go? Okay. Can you find the word go in our stack? Go. All right. What do you need to make go? Make. Start making with your O. What comes first? Perfect. All right, can you write go? Remember? Go back, around, go up, go down. What? I want to make O. Okay. I want you to try that one again. Make sure your O goes right next to the G and you do your full circle. Thank you for that. Awesome. I'll take the pen. Okay, what word is next? Next, let's do. Go. Next, let's do. I think we should do one of the smaller words and then. Well, you have these choices. Which words do you want to try? Let's do. Like. Like. Ugh, great choice. All right. How, what letters do you need to make like? What comes first? L. Like the L. You're right. All right. What comes next? Next is, is an I only Y. And then a K. Hmm. Who are the K? There's a K in there. Yeah. I see a purple K in there. Do you see the purple K? does that say? Okay, think about with your K, how we form that one. Hmm, I don't know how we you pull down. All right, do you want to do one more? No, let's do two more. Two more? Okay. Start with wit. Excellent. Go. Read it, wit. Okay, then make it. 
this looks like an uppercase present. It's a lowercase. Oh. It matches, see? All right. This one would have to be the purple one. Down. Crown. N. And then blue N. Perfect. What does that word say? Wait. It's okay. job. All right, last one. What's, all right, make half. Uh oh. Not sticking. It's okay. It's just how the paper is. Go. comes at the end. There we go. All right, one more time. Write the word. What's the word? What's that word? It is hat. Good job. Great work. All right, read me the words that you wrote today. Go, like, went, and have. Great. This strategy is really powerful for kids because it takes the sight words between what they can see as a reader. It helps them deconstruct it and reconstruct the words in sequence to make up the sight word and then write it. Um, so that transference between reading and writing is what really makes it stick with them. The other thing about this strategy that I love is it works on um, a couple of other skills that are important for early literacy. So the fact that we use lowercase letters unless capitals are needed. This is one of those things that when your sight words have them written in lowercase letters, they'll start having that practice with identifying lowercase letters and also writing lowercase letters. The lowercase letters can be more challenging for kids to write because of how they're formed. So this is a really good way to practice. When you have paper that has the lines, it can help them with that letter formation. With Tanner right now, that's not one of my biggest concerns. I'm helping him more form the shape of the letter than get it exactly perfect on the line. But eventually over time, these lines will help his handwriting um, as well as his letter formation. So those two things together are really powerful. Usually after doing this strategy once or twice side by side with a kid, they can do it independently. So this can be something that you're like, hey, go practice this strategy by yourself um, and then show me your work. So when you're in the classroom, it can become a center, it can become an independent um, literacy activity during word work, um, or at home, it can just be something that they're doing while um, maybe you're getting some dinner ready, different things like that. So they become more independent with it and need less support over time because it is a practice strategy. So I hope you um, are able to try the strategy. I hope this was helpful to see um, a kid in action. Um, and we will see you next time.